Me llamo Elena Cleibo, soy una antropóloga social. Uh, my name is Anastasia. Uh, I am working uh, with the UN OCHA, with the Access Unit. My name is Kibomars Fruzan from Afghanistan. I'm a humanitarian professional working uh, in my country, Afghanistan. And now I'm here to attend the Fall Retreat organized by CCH. this week for many reasons. Humanitarian negotiators, mostly they are in the front lines and they are responding to all the emergencies, they are taking care of all the people. If we are not feeling good, we cannot take care of the others. No one is there to, to take care of the humanitarian workers. Cuidarnos nosotros para mejor compartir. What's the purpose of the retreat? Is to share uh, and um, allow participants to have access to experts in their field of self-care. Is to identify what are the future needs, the evolving needs of humanitarian negotiators. Is to create a community, a sense of belonging to a community of care, which can be there for them once they go back to the field. Yo sentí la necesidad. Estoy en un momento de mi vida que es un ampaz. Estoy entre trabajos. Pero desde el momento en que pasé por el túnel de piedra que me llevaba a Co, yo sentí que estaba entrando en un espacio mágico, en un espacio seguro. There is a lot more pressure on a negotiation because of the outcome, regardless if it's a hostage or if it's food going uh, somewhere. The, uh, the content itself requires to be very alert uh, mentally, but also very calm, emotionally able to bond. So a lot of skills uh, that can take a lot of energy. There is a point of saturation. There is a sense of, I want to support others. They're very passionate people. And very often it's linked to a sense of um, guilt. Why should I stop while people are suffering? So it started uh, four years ago, listening to community members sharing their experience, their challenges and dilemmas regarding negotiation in the front line. And um, together with all the technical challenges and dilemmas, there was also always more human aspect linked to that. The aim of the project is to provide frontline negotiators with easy to use and practical tools that they can use to better prepare before, to better manage during and to better cope after uh, negotiating under pressure. This is a new approach for uh, humanitarian negotiators to mitigate any kind of risks. If we are under any stress, I'm sure we will, uh, we will not be able to have a, a fruitful negotiation with the counterparts. This was, until now, rarely included in the tools that negotiators use. It was not considered as important, maybe, to uh, manage the human factor in negotiation. This year it was different because they came for themselves, but also to learn how to share the tools back home with their peers. So by by end of the week I'm sure there would be very new skills that we can mainstream through our uh, humanitarian negotiation workshops in the future. We can uh, share that knowledge with the rest of humanitarian professionals in my country. I often hear from them that it's not easy to find somebody to talk with. So what would I say? I say there is a community of um, peers, of caring people who will understand and also very experienced, maybe in different settings, and can be there for you. So reach out.